Hello everybody, it's Sephiroth 204 for new Let's Play, and this Let's Play is going to be Super Mario Land, a game that I love. Um, this game, I played it when it came out in the original Game Boy, and uh, it's just very different. Um, you know, for compare it to uh, Super Mario uh, Brothers 1, 2, or 3, and it's it's just a different game. Uh, this takes place in Sarasa Land, uh, as opposed to the Mushroom Kingdom, so that's uh, one thing. Although uh, technically, Super Mario Bros. 2 took place in Subcon, but uh, as many people will tell you, they don't. Not a, some people don't think it's a real Mario game. I do. I don't care that what its uh, past was, but who cares? Anyway, um, pretty much uh, story of the game: Princess Daisy was captured by uh, an evil guy named uh, Tatanga, I believe it is. And in this game, hearts are one-ups instead of uh, one-up mushrooms. And the one power-up in this game, aside from the regular mushroom, is the fireball, which is actually a rubber ball. If you'll see, if you fire it on the ground, it bounces away, and it bounces a couple times. And one of the cool features is that it can collect coins. So uh, that's pretty cool. And just this is a game that I played when I was uh, a lot younger. Um, I've played a lot since, and uh, I'd say that the average time I could beat it in is about 28 minutes. Uh, there are four worlds, each world has four boards, and, um, I'm sorry, each world has three boards, and, uh, the last board has a boss, and, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty easy, it's about seven minutes per thing. And, uh, here's the invincibility, if you listen to the music. So, yeah, it's just really fun, I really like this game, because it's a short game, but it's, uh, there's a lot of se secrets in it. You have new enemies like this guy here, uh, which when you step on them, they can't hurt you after it dies, but the death animation is just interesting. Also, uh, something to know is that it takes two hits to kill them. I just love it, and like for areas like this, if you're not small, you fire a, uh, a, a fire... I'm just gonna call them fireballs, even though they're not fire. <laughs> um, and uh, yes, each board, uh, if you've seen my uh, Super Mario Land 2 Let's Play, um, each board has two exits. The bottom one is the regular exit, the top one is the special exit that gives you to, uh, brings you to a bonus game, where you can win either one, two, three lives, or a flower. So let's see, I get two lives, alright. And this game is just pretty simple. Um, it's not easy in every area, but... I would consider it, uh, it's a pretty well made game. Sometimes the controls can get kind of annoying. Uh, these guys only take one hit. Um, but uh, overall, it's really cool. And the thing about Koopas, I can't believe it didn't point down the last level. The thing about Koopas in this game, step on them, their shells explode. It's pretty interesting. Um, so this game is pretty different. I don't know why some people say that, like, this game, you know, this game in the Mario series is a, is a black sheep, or that game, like every other game in the Mario series is a black sheep, there's a hidden heart over here. Uh, I'm not going to show you every secret because I don't know them all, but the ones that I do remember, I will sh try to show you. Um, so yeah, the Mario series just, you know, you have Mario Land 1, and if you call that setting the standards, the so Mario Land 2, uh, Mar yeah, Mario Brothers 2, I mean, Mario Brother, uh, Mario Brothers 1, set the standard, so to speak. Mario Bros. 2 broke that, the end, even though it was a different game. Mario Bros. 3, okay, it picked it up a little bit. New, uh, you know, new, um, power-ups and stuff. But then you get to Mario Bros. 4, I believe this is a heart, yeah. Uh, Mario Bros. 4, um, what the hell is Mario Bros. 4? I'm just talking now, wow. Uh, and then you get to the Super Mario Land games. So Super, you have Super Mario Land. Uh, these are falling blocks, just be careful. Uh, Super Mario Land here goes out of, I mean, it's basic, it's the basic game, it just has a different power-up, and it has a, a different setting, but uh, aside from that, it's pretty much the same, <laughs> then you get to uh, Mario World, which is the same, Mario Brothers, uh, Super Mario Land 2 is whatever. So here's the ball stage, it's like a pyramid, if you've played uh, Super Smash Bros. Brawl, um, this is actually a, uh, uh, an area, kind of, uh, the, the music is the same. Those are piranha plants, you can kill them just like anything else. There's a way to get up to the top at this point. I don't know where. I guess you just jump at one of these areas. I don't know. Um, I've never discovered it really, and I don't care to because it takes a while. 
Uh, some of these areas also have falling bricks, so be careful. And uh, down here is just another secret passage. And I really like how um, the this the music for the secret air secret passages are like. I just love it. They actually, yeah, if you uh, if you remember in um, Super Mario uh, Land 2, uh, Super Mario Land 2, uh, the next one, uh, Super Mario Land 2 has uh, an area that has that background music, so I would guess that's like a cameo appearance. This is a little elevator that takes you to the top. There's one back there, as I said, but I don't remember where it is. Let's just go down here. That's uh, a nice uh, coin area. Uh, I just want to break those. Ah, I, I ruined it. Oh wait, I'm gonna try to break these all anyway. Eh. Because there is a heart at the top of that. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Okay, I can get it. Yay! The other side has nothing. I tried. <laughs> so ten lives already. That's pretty cool. Uh, if you're small, you can go down there. I don't think that this game allows you to. Yeah, this game doesn't allow you to slide. But if you're small, you can go down there. And uh, you'll see what's over there. And um, don't go in the middle path because it just leads over here where we are. But if you go down there, you get a whole load of coins, three falling bricks, and there's a mushroom in the middle uh, to which to break those. And if you don't get the mushroom, then you could just kill yourself. <laughs> um, here, there is a, yeah, right there, flower. And just go across there. There's this little sphinx, guys. And uh, it's pretty much leading up to the boss. Bowser isn't in this game at all. Instead, it's. Uh, giant lion thing. So there's two ways to kill it. There's the classic way of jumping over and pressing the switch, or you could just pretty much shoot him to death. Um, the, uh, the switch is for if you don't have that. So let's, you have to press the switch one way or another. So, um, yeah. So that was the first board. I think I'm just going to make this a really short let's play. Uh, two, you know, two or three episodes depending on the time that it takes, because seven minutes is good, but I know, I'm just getting into it now, you know? Thank you, Mario. Oh, Daisy! And yeah, she turns into an enemy. It's no no toads here saying the princess is another castle, but this does uh, mimic that a bit. So let's move on to world two. We did not need that. Do, do, do. I love like the, uh, the synthesized um, drums there. And these are like skeleton fish that hop out of the water, but they just die if they touch you, so <laughs> you could just stand there and let them die, or avoid them, or shoot them. Do whatever you want, really. Now the platforming here can get a bit annoying because the jumping is a little bit annoying in the game, but that's okay. Uh, just be careful here, don't break that block or else you'll miss the top area. Um, just go around here, get a fire a thing over there, I'll get that later. Um, the, the block to the right of me over here is a uh, flower slash mushroom, depending on, you know, what uh, state you're in. And uh, the rest of the stuff is, is uh, you know, just regular stuff. I like these bonus areas. There's a lot of coins in this game to collect. And uh, it's really fun. Do, do, do. I just, I love the music in this game because it's really rocking. Um, I mean, there are a lot of old games that, uh, that have great music and... That's really, as I've said many, many times in the past, that's a, one of the things I look for in the game is uh, is music, because it really puts you in the mood for the game. Like That's why I love the Mother games a lot. Uh, the Mario games have always had great music. I think that's a... No, it's just a coin block, okay. Uh, the Mario games have always had great music. Um, you know, it's just... Uh, it's re I really like it. These guys shoot uh, fireballs at you, but just like those guys, they just jump into you. Uh, you can know, kill him if you want to. It's my party and you'll die if I want you to. Anyway, we get that. <laughs> um, yeah, that was silly. And we go over here and I hope I make it. Yeah, very nice. And yeah, it's, uh, it's just, I love this game. It has a lot of replay value just because it's easy to play. It's, uh, it's fast so you don't have to put a lot of time into it. And it's just... You know, it's fun. It's a very fun game. And I don't know why that spaceship is there. And uh, this guy, oh, I finally got hurt. Um, he's, uh, his head detaches, as you saw. So you can kill both or just kill the main body. It doesn't really matter. Um, 
you know, once you kill the main body, the, the head disappears if it, if it was flying around at the time. So yeah. Um, get some coins here, jump up to that guy. I don't know how to get down there. If you know how to get down there, let me know. Because it's always been a mystery to me. I, I guess maybe the, there's a ball you can get that uh, you know bounces around. There's a star here. And at the end of this, there's a mushroom. I've played, I've played through the first bunch of areas a lot, so I know... Uh, you know where everything is. Um, I know the last area is a lot less, but that's just because I, you know, when when you pick up a game and you just want to play it for a few minutes, you know, you don't usually get too far in it. Uh, is this a secret? Yes. And there's hidden block over there, so that's good. And you know, this game contains a lot of elements from old, uh, from the other Mario games. And, uh, but it creates a lot of new ones, so, you know, it's not, as a lot of Mario games are, or old Mario games at least, it's not really story driven, but it doesn't need to be, because the action is great. I usually don't make this, but let's try anyway. Yeah, I never make that, okay. <laughs> and the next board's already the boss, so that's, uh, that's cool. I like the next board a lot, because it's something that you rarely see in a Mario game. A submarine. Isn't that cool? You get to just shoot as much as you want. You don't need to have the firepower to shoot it. In fact, it doesn't even give it to you. It just gives you mushrooms uh, in this board. And you just shoot the fish. Some of the fish take more hits uh, than others, like those. Some don't. But uh, it's just a great... Like, I love the fact that they, that they have a submarine thing. And you can just move wherever you want. There's coins everywhere. And it's just... Um, it's just different, you know, the, the original Mario games, there were no vehicles, you just went around. The closest thing you got to the vehicle was, uh, was the raccoon tail and that you could fly. Uh, this game came out in 89, I think it said. It was one of the first uh, Game Boy games, so I don't know if it did not come out before. Ow. Uh, yeah, you have to be careful of those octopus, octopod octopi. They explode, as you saw, when you kill them. So just be careful. Uh, this came out before Super Mario World, I believe. So, you know, you didn't have the cape and stuff like that. So, like, or, yeah, you didn't have the cape, you didn't have Yoshi uh, to ride around on. So, like, the, the idea of a vehicle that, you know, had an attack system, it was just great. You see the coins here spell up Mario. And uh, that means we're almost at the boss, actually. Come on. Where's my mushroom? There we go. And here's the boss. Uh, this is a, you know, it's a seahorse that flies around. If you see in the bottom there, you can just go through there and hit the button anyway, and uh, it'll kill the boss. But what's the fun in that when you have unlimited firepower? It's not like you can lose it when you become small, so you may as well just kill the boss. Get all the points and stuff, right? Okay, very cool. And he just there's an explosion sound because that's how it was programmed in. <laughs> oh, Daisy! Oh God, you're not. Oh, you look prettier this way, actually. <laughs> anyway, in the next episode, we'll finish the game. We'll go on to world three which is an interesting area full of Easter Island statues. And, uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. It's been Sephiroth 124 with Super Mario Land. Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye.